Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Westminster playing cards from Penguin Magic and Phil Smith. Hey, Phil Smith, you might remember, uh, he was also the designer of the DMC black and gold mark decks that came out a little while ago. This deck is by him as well, and it's being exclusively released through penguinmagic.com. Now you might remember Penguin Magic has done a couple of these signature decks. They did the white tally hose, they did the bees, they did the honey bee deck, and they did the Christmas deck last year. And so this is their next deck uh, that they're releasing, and it is a very limited run. And once these decks sell out, they will be gone. And so if this is something you like, I would highly recommend you head on down to penguinmagic.com right now and buy a brick. This deck is done entirely in metallic greens. It does say Westminster across the middle there and it has their symbol there at the top. And it says elite playing cards right there. And then you have a little diamond icon down here in the corner. This side says premium finish and has a little bit of ad copy underneath there. And this side says that they're designed by Phil Smith. The bottom has some ad copy about P3, it was Penguin Magic. And the top simply says Westminster elite playing cards. There is no tuck seal on this, which is nice. Uh, and you have a interior green tuck flap as well. And again, you have that same Westminster icon that repeats there. And then the back design uh, is kind of this concentric circle thing that we'll get to in a minute. Uh, but it's the same back design that's on the cards. And that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on their retail thin stock. They do have a traditional cut and air cushion finish and magic finish. And so if you want to learn more about stock cut or finish or magic finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design is intricately beautiful and is a two-way image. It's done in that same metallic green that you saw there on the tuck case. To me, it's very reminiscent of like a Gothic cathedral window. It has that same kind of element of uh, geometry and shape that uh, you would see in something that was really intricately designed. And so uh, I think this might even be some sort of thing that was copied or replicated from Westminster. You can also see that it has a nice medium-sized white border as well. With this deck, you're gonna get two original jokers. It is a gargoyle. And as you can see on one card, he has the back design facing forwards. And in the second card, he has it reveal, which is great for magic tricks. The Ace of Spades is beautifully detailed from more Westminster iconography. And you can see that in the spade pip itself on the left and the right, you have these Griffith um, imagery. And so I think it's great just to have that whole thing tied together. Your pips and indices and court cards and colorings are all gonna be completely standard and instantly recognizable. With this deck, you're also gonna get a gaff card. It's a king of clubs on this side and a king of spades on this side. You're also gonna get a second gaff card in the Westminster deck. You're gonna get two copies of the two of hearts. And so that makes for some really cool duplicate card tricks that you could do as well. All right, so that is my review for the Westminster playing cards from Penguin Magic and Phil Smith. We want to thank Kevin Rylick and everyone down at Penguin Magic for providing this deck for me so that I can review it for you. And as always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.